Hi, my name is Michael Jacobs, and I'd like to talk a little bit about today about my book, Science of the Golf Swing, and discuss some of the contents in there. For the past nine years, I've worked with famed researcher Dr. Stephen Nesbitt, who's published more research on the sport of golf than, than anyone that ever has uh, conducted research. And over the past nine years, he and I have really refined the models of both the club and the full body golfer into a program that can really be taken out to a golf course and a lesson tee and into a discussion where golf professionals can start to use this information to help golfers. And, that, and that's what it was designed to do. We had worked on what's called the club model for a, a long time. Dr. Nesbitt actually did it in 1988. So we're talking about a 30 year old model that now can be used on an everyday uh, analysis type of perspective. So the full body model is what comes out next. So let's focus in on the club model, which is what was published in the Science of the Golf Swing. So we have a forward from Dr. Nesbitt. He talks about some of the time and things we've done together, an introduction from me, some of the things uh, both that have been great and challenges that I've faced over the past nine years, bringing this book and this information to everybody. We get into chapter one now where we have the kinematic and kinetic classroom. You can see it's 130 pages. We get fully in depth to what actually drives the golf club. There are six drivers of a golf club or any rigid body. Um, there's three directions of force and three directions that a, a golfer can torque a golf club. Here we break them down, we sum them all together, and we go through all the different types of ways that somebody can change the movement of the club. Uh, ultimately, it has to be done within uh, any six of those, those drivers. So kinematics describe movement. So kinematics are things like position, change in position, how fast the position is changing. And it's that information that you are used to seeing when you watch someone swing a club. Kinetics is another branch of dynamics to where actually we look at what actual forces or torques that the golfer applies to the club that creates the changes in position. And when we get into the full body model, we're talking about inside the body and what torques inside the joints of the body will drive the body links and then ultimately to the club. So it's been a fascinating study. In chapter two, we get in depth onto the hub path, which is a very critical part of analyzing what's happening in a golf swing. And when we talk about the hub path, we're talking about the part where the two hands join each other on the club. It's the link from the golfer to the club where they're imposing their will. And we go through all types of kin kinetic and kinematic discussions relative to the hub path. Resistance chapter three is super important. Everybody always talks about force and what happens and what kind of response you're gonna get. Yet we have to know the resistances that are present in the static body of the club that are gonna inhibit the movement and some dynamic ones. In chapter three, I get into the dynamic ones, G load, rotational resistance. And it explains why golf is so difficult to repeat what you're doing over and over. It's my favorite chapter in the book. Chapter four, the lesson T, I spend the first seven lessons trying to get you prepared to swing. What types of things do we look for and how a golfer holds the club, how they set their body, how they position their links when they set up. And then in lesson eight through 13, we get in depth into a unabridged discussion about what's happening in a golf swing kinetically. My friend Brian Manzella goes on to write the Afterwood, his perspective of the journey that we've been on for the last nine years. So it's a fascinating book. Wrote it with my good friend, Matthew Rudy, who's the best writer in golf. And 333, 339 pages actually, over 30,000 words, over 400 images. This truly tells the story of the science of the golf swing. The topic of work energy and work and power was not included in this book because it would just be too big. So that publication will be out next and that will complete the discussion of our club model. I hope you enjoyed the science of the swing. And if you want to watch a one hour discussion of Dr. Nesbitt and I discussing some of these principles, you can find it at jacobs3d.com or on YouTube.
Thank you for your interest in my book, Science of the Golf Swing.